Hello folks, well here I am. So let's talk about final install here on this PIP MS4048 from MPP Solar. I'm sure everyone knows where this comes from. I actually bought it on eBay but can buy it directly from MPP Solar right here. I bought this piece of machinery on January 2015. I know we're in August now, I have been sitting on it because I was waiting to get all the rest of this here. My dip cycle batteries. It's a nice breaker there shunt beautiful midnight solar kit here some more dc breakers and those ac breakers for the input and output of the inverter here so we start with the easy stuff we got cable number one here Cable number one and number two here are the solar input. They're, they're coming from my roof. Got 1500 watts, 1500 watts of panels in this string here. I got six panels in parallel. No, I got three parallel panels of 250 watts each. And then I have that in series. So it makes 1500 watts. So here's the big thing I'm concerned about. It's gonna be my solar panel input. I'm gonna be hooking it up the positive to here. The negative's gonna go straight into the midnight solar kit here. Batteries, I'm going to be jumping a cable. I'm going to be putting a jumper from this box here, from the input of this breaker here. I'm going to be jumping in it up to this 30 amp breaker here. And that's going to be the positive input of the battery here for the midnight solar the kit. Now we're up here with this shunt. That's gonna be the negative side there. I'm gonna be running the negative side to here. This side I'm going to be inputting right into the K there. I also I have this shunt because I have the Wizbang Junior here. Gonna be hooking up the Wizbang Junior to the to the charge controller there. Hmm. Now the easy part is done. Start with the hard part here. This big boy here. Let's see how I'm gonna be hooking this up with the cable number three four here are my solar panel inputs. Number three is Going is the positive. Gonna be running the positive to the middle breaker here. From that breaker, be putting it up on the PV positive input there. A PC PV positive, as you can see. A little bit. Difficult to focus, now we got focus there. And the negative, number four here, I'm gonna be running it straight in there. No breakers, no nothing. And now we're on the battery side of this. Have some big lugs there. I'm gonna be running some 35 square millimeter cables here. Be running the positive positive input here that positive 
It's gonna be running up to this breaker here. It's a good midnight solar as well breaker. 125 amp DC breaker. And from here, straight up to the positive input there. Positive, it says there on the left side, positive. The negative, same deal. Running up from the battery negative. The shunt, this side here, the shunt is going to be going on the negative side there. There it says negative battery input there. Now this, the DC side is taken care of. Now on the AC side, on the lining, AC input, running this big boys here. These are six millimeter AC cables. Gonna be running the live and the neutral, the live and the neutral through this 40 amp breaker here. And from the breaker, and be running it up to this input side here. Very important to get the input as just in case had a miswire there and he blew he blew his inverter when the electrician did it. So I know it's very important that I get this right. And the output of this, I'm hooking up to this breaker here. Actually, I'm hooking two, two lines of 25 amps here. And I need, I need a second 25 amp breaker here. I have these two four square millimeter lines here. Be running this two. The first line is going to be fitting this breaker box I have down here. And the second line is gonna be going upstairs where I have all, it's going to be running the hot water heater, all the lights upstairs. So it's basically gonna run half of the house. Just half of the house here. Anyways, just a quick video. See if anyone has anything to say or anything, am I missing anything here? So I have a few days to go before I get this all connected up. Oh yeah, forgot the temperature probe here that's going to be going also to the kids. So that's my setup there. Quick summary. Solar panel inputs run into the first breaker there, positive, right into the kid. The negative goes right into the kid, solar input. The battery input is going to be the negative to the shunt, the shunt to the kid. The positive, I'm going to be making a battery cable here, a 35 square millimeter cable to up here. Then I'm going to use a six another 25 millimeter cable up to this breaker here or uh, no I think I'll have to use a a six millimeter cable is the maximum they they allow up in here and from here to here positive again thank you for your kind words goodbye